a place where darkness rings. We've got the power to fight back. We save the day, united by this one. We can become more than you know. The heart will lead the way to what we can control. Find our search, Cedric. Strange that it's so hard to find one young girl. Not at all. She's inherited qualities of which even she's unaware. If I'm to steal her powers, her ignorance plays to my advantage. They won't have told my sister her identity. What used to be her protection is now my opportunity. Cedric, I have a mission for which you will need to pass as human. Our newest history teacher, Professor Dean Collins. Thank you, and good morning. I've been told Sheffield prides itself on sharpening young minds. Score, spearmint. And developing your sense of community. That's why this year, we're going to hold Community Service Day a month early. A month early? A month early? I was impressed to hear you love community service so much that every year you rush to school early on sign-up day. Of course we come early. Oh, man, I hate community service day. I'm going to stand in the parking lot all night with a pen in my hand. Mm, maybe I'll sleep in my locker. You guys, what is community service day? Okay. Tomorrow morning, there's going to be a list on this board. 400 jobs for 400 kids. Out of those, maybe 10 won't totally stink. And the last kids to sign up get the most gagorific ones. It can't be that bad. Oh, no? Try Monkey Bar Scraper at the zoo. <laughs> Okay, got it. Get here early. <sighs> Mom, did you get a phone call while you were making the soup? How'd you know? <laughs> Honey, uh, what would you think if I started dating? <laughs> well... If you meet a nice guy, I wouldn't feed him any home-cooked meals right away. I've adopted a human's identity in their town. Mm. The search for the girl will go faster now. When they write our family history, hers will be a short but eventful chapter. Time for you to pay another visit. Good evening, Will. Professor Collins? Whatever you're here to tell my mom, uh, I'd appreciate at least 15 minutes to think of an excuse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nothing like that. Good evening, Susan. Dean. Hi. Susan, Dean. Your mom joined the PTA, but she uh, missed the last two meetings. 
So I asked Dean to bring over the material. Why don't we talk in here? <laughs> Let's say 6 a.m. Mom says you've got to play Wobbly Wobbly Walrus with me. Beat it, shrimp. I'm going to bed early. And if you do anything to ruin my sleep, I will personally dropkick you into the wolf pit at the zoo. You're mean. I'm not mean. Wolves are mean. Go! Hey guys, what did you get? Ceiling envelopes at City Hall. Yeah. Oh. Easy Street. Will and I are painting over graffiti. Martin got dumpster scrubber. Have any of you seen Cornelia? <sighs> Cakes. I don't think she'll have time to eat them. If I were you, I would get into the Federal Sister Protection Program. Uh. Gee, I wonder what's left on the community service list. <laughs> They have behavior issues. Cornelia's going to read to you. What book have you chosen, Cornelia? The little sister who from today on wished she'd never been born. Yeah. Lovely. Good luck. Five minutes. Then I fought a new lick. I licked for two hours this morning. We had to steam my lips open. Uh, on the bright side, we ate so much glue, we don't need to buy lunch. Hi, girls. Hello, Hello Professor, Professor Collins. Collins. You are using the special sponge tongues, aren't you? Sponge tongues. Still better than last year. You're in a grumpy mood. You would be too if your mom was making goo goo eyes at your history teacher. Yeah? Go Will's mom! I heard teenagers come here to make out. Suppose your mom will come here with Collins? My life is over. Hey, Will. What kind of writing is that? Uh. Will, are you okay? Uh. Will! Then she saw this weird writing, and wham! She went down like a sack of potatoes. What did this writing look like? Oh, I copied it. These letters are not from this world. I've seen this writing in the castle, but I can't read it. Where is he? Is he all right? I'm fine. What's wrong with your voice? We've been licking your envelopes. Aren't you supposed to use those sponge tongues? I know who can translate this, but we have to visit the Infinite City. It was right here. What's that on your cheek? The Big Dipper. Don't ask. The portal must be close by. There. What's that? Guardians unite!
through. Nostrils, trade for curly wings. Good deal, yes. Dragon nostrils. Meet good hat. <laughs> Once it stops smoking. I don't need this anymore. Yeah. Well, I think we found Blunk's vacation home. In here. Uh, and where? Nobody knows who built the Infinite City. In 4,000 years, no one's found an end to it in any direction. More stairs? Don't you have, like, some kind of stone escalator? Girls. need your help. Oh, you are the guardians of the veil. Yes, sir. Er, yes, ma'am. And the message? Ah, the writing of the beasts. What does it say? You are still undetected. Begin your search for the girl. A beast is in your town in human form. It will try to get close to you, Guardians. Good evening, Will. Professor Collins? Good evening, Susan. Dean! Uh, how can you tell them from humans? Touch a beast with the heart of Kandragar, and it shows its true form. You're serious? Professor Collins? He's like too boring to be evil. Who is this Collins? Will's history teacher. We know that for some reason Phobos is looking for a teenage girl in our town. What if it's me? Say you're one of his scouts. How do I get close to Earth Girls? Become a box of donuts! Yeah. I get a job as a teacher! Oh wow! And then check out my possible targets one at a time. But if he's from Meridian... Okay, my mom's attractive in a funky old person kind of way, but unless he's an evil beast, why else would Collins talk to her? How does he know enough Earth history to teach it? And it would explain why he made Community Day earlier. To separate us and watch us one at a time! We should follow him! Girls, please, let me suggest another plan. <sighs> Where did he buy? Glue. Glue for what? Glue to stick on his realistic rubber human face! Uh... <laughs> Live crickets! Like two pounds of them! That's way too much for fishing. But not too much to eat. Ew! Ew! Yuck! No wonder he liked my mom's cooking. Look, maybe he's got a pet lizard. Yeah, right. Well, I don't want to judge somebody before all the evidence is in. Well, no, yeah, just not 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 but it's obvious Collins is a face glowing bug eating brain sucker. Hello? Hello. Okay. Uh, definitely. Why am I even here? We've got to go to Will's house right now.
We don't even know this guy's coming here. What do you need to see? His monster ID card? You didn't expect that, did you, buddy? what you look like with green skin and a tail. This is really glued on tight. What is it? Being evil for dummies? It's information on the Sheffield PTA. Phobos joined the PTA? I don't think so, but my mom did. I think the phrase you're all searching for is, you were right, Caleb. Well, it serves him right for that surprise test last week. Uh, let's just get him home so he can sleep it off. I tried to warn him, but hey, girls, it's like talking to firewood. Mm -hmm. I can't believe we zapped our history teacher, but we did, see? He's right here. Hey, Lynn, it's an expression. Oh, like there's a police car? That's not an expression. No, but there's a police car. No! <laughs> <laughs> wow, Mrs. Geraldo has a swimming pool. Oh, look! He's dreaming he's swimming! Gee, now he's wet, maybe his glued-on face will come off easier. Hey, Lynn, what does his driver's license say? He's 5'10", and he needs to wear glasses. His address, hey, Lynn? Oh, Cedar Terrace. That's five miles from here, uphill. Can't we transform and fly him? Hey, you're only supposed to transform for emergencies. Well, what do you call pushing a wet, unconscious man up a hill in a wheelbarrow at midnight? Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Unnecessary if you'd listen to me. At least nothing can go wrong up here. going to show me that dance move you promised. Well, he was just showing us, right, girls? No. Uh, and one, and <laughs> two, <laughs> sir. Aw, <laughs> oh, he looks so peaceful. He should have five girls zap him unconscious and throw him the dogs more often. The cricket mystery solved, Mr. Scales. If anyone tells Caleb he was right about this, she is out of the group. Okay, we lock the door, fly out the window, have his car towed, and tomorrow we'll put the papers in his desk. He'll think he dreamed it. What about his clothes? Sprinkle him with crickets and release the lizard so he thinks Mr. Scales ripped them up? Ah, uh, that's crazy. Do it. <laughs> Are you okay, Professor Collins? Last night I dreamt I was attacked by evil fairies. Oh, I have that dream all the time. And when I woke up, my lizard was trying to eat me. Everything cool? So our only problem now is, if Collins wasn't the beast, who is? I'm back! 
And today, I have a special surprise for you. When you kids are older, you'll learn about something called community service. But you're all gonna start right now, as you and my darling sister lick these 48,750 envelopes. And no, we don't have any sponge tongues. You were never interested in Mr. Collins? Please. He's so unreliable. He was supposed to drop off some papers last night, but he never showed. You know, I don't mind you dating. Maybe a nice short order cook? Who has time? I've got an emergency block meeting. Seems some weirdo's been swimming in all the neighborhood pools. 